And what is your assessment in this position? Like a slightly worse. You know, slightly, slightly worse. worse. And maybe Queen G5 was, was trying to organize something here. I played B6, and he played Knight F1. And it's, it's an unpleasant position because black should do something here. And it's how? And now you played this move, Bishop F4. It's a... Uh, it's very interesting. Yeah, it's a move just to... It's kind of tra positional trap for Karpov, you know? It's not, nothing to do with this move. I, I don't know what to do, for, for instance, after H4, but I didn't see the, the, the possibilities, what I can do in the position. I mean, what, how can I improve it? My knight is... It cannot come to G7, it's probably too late. Mm. And it, so it, worked, it worked out, it worked. He played G3. Very bad. Very bad move. This is very bad. Uh, very unusual for Karpov, you know. It's, he weakened his pawn structure. It, it's a pride of his position. And then I went back, he played H4. Actually, it's a unique game for Karpov. After 20 moves, he, moved, uh, he pushed all his pawns. In his uh, life? I think, I think he never did it. So we've seen sparring on both sides of the board. Karpov no looks towards his king side and plays king to h1. Here I was really surprised by his move. Obviously black wants to open the game. I mean, I expected b5 and I thought maybe this is draw. I didn't want to open the game here. And suddenly he played king h1. Very bad mistake in my opinion. Take here and of course a5. He played knight f5, but uh, take, take take on b4, rook takes b4. Now the game is open, but look, all black pieces are coming. Of course I don't want to take this pawn. Let us unite rook b6, knight e4. Black is big. And by the way, it's, 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 it's a good uh, puzzle for the, for the chess player. Which knight is only four or f6? Where is knight g8, where is knight b8? What is a knight here? This is a knight uh, b8? Yes. And this one is a knight uh, <laughs> yes, g8. And this knight it comes... Knight um, f6, g4, h6, f7, d8, b7, c5, e4. So this is a mathematical problem. <laughs> yes, mathematic problem. <laughs> As he approaches time pressure, Karpov speeds up. Many people were sure that Kaspov would win again. But suddenly he plays rook c1 and proposes a draw. The audience are very confused. Let's consult the players about this rather strange result. And here, I think I did everything great by the by the moment. I mean, the position is winning for black. This is what we thought, and so people started to talk. Yeah, wait, 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 wait! After queen b2 is the only move is winning, which I saw and I wanted to make. No, 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 I don't think it's a winning. I think it's not, it's not obvious that it's, it's queen a8. Queen a8 is only winning move. Yeah, it's winning move. Although this move, I, I didn't find a defense for white. I saw this move, but I can tell it's, the reason is quite simple. I wasn't in the big defense in the, in the beginning of the game. Later, I played a6, I thought, okay, it's a draw, and I expected that he played b5, close the position. Suddenly, I've got initiative. You know... I understood that the game would be adjourned, I had to analyze it, and I wanted to prepare better for the game 20. I didn't prepare myself psychologically to win the game, but I think that was a you know, crime against chess. And uh, um, as a punishment, I had to play very bad at German in game 21. Everything, because you know, it's justice in chess. And offering the draw, I wanted to avoid the adjourned game, I wanted to save some nerve energy, and as a result, I had a very difficult analyzing the dangerous position in game 21. So. Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's it, the player of my level couldn't afford to, to offer join the, in the posi position. Any move was very good. Okay, but this move was probably winning. This, in this game, I must say that this was only one game in which uh, I, I suffered with White. Uh, mostly because of, uh, um, because of uh, uh, overestimation of my possibilities after the opening. I, I decided that in this static uh, situation on the king's side, white would have uh, chances to get advantage. But in, in reality, uh, it happened that uh, I couldn't even hold the position, and uh, this blockade was very good for black. 
Uh, and of course, this game Kasparov should win. Kasparov just didn't want to have any risk because he was one point ahead in the match. In a uh, very nice situation, he didn't want to have any risk. And of course, it's difficult just in a few minutes after a very long session to estimate uh, correctly if, uh, if Black can win or not. Because Kasparov should make, after Queen B2, he should make an uh, Im important decision. The 20th game was played on December the 15th, 1990. This day will go down in chess history. At this moment I took a decision to have risk, to take risk, because uh, it was, uh, mm, it was hardly could be considered that I can win two, two white games out of two. And just to get title back, I should uh, get lead with two points, two, mm, two points out of the uh, last five games. And uh, so we can come back to this uh, old and as we, as we called archaic rule in the chess in the chess, uh, in the history of chess, uh, when uh, in case of draw, world champion maintains his title. So I believe nowadays uh, we should eliminate this rule uh, because it, it gives a lot of advantage to world champion. And so I just decided to, to take risk uh, to fight for the title. This will be a battle without mercy. Both sides eagerly enter a sharp variation of the Roy Lopez. Karpov plays 17 f5. What's Gaza's verdict? That's a good positional idea, just to destroy white center, but one consequence, king. So were you surprised by the aggressive attitude no. of uh, Karpov? It's a psychological result of the game 19. Probably I won the game 20 by offering the draw in game 19. And Karpov saw that maybe I'm just having one point lead. I will hesitate in any complicated situation. And he decided, you know, to fight because in this position, white should be very, you know, confident. Because sometimes you have to sacrifice. Positionally, you are in trouble because he had an advantage in the center. And you should attack, attack without hesitation. And he thought maybe, maybe it was an advice of his psychologist. He decided to play this line. And what do you think about his choice? Of course. It's, um, it was quite obvious for, for him in the situation, but I think it's a bad choice because I play this position much better than Carpo. I mean, I feel it much better, you know, plus, if I was encouraged by this, by, the, by his king, and I wasn't, he underestimated my, my confidence. I mean, the game 19 was normal. I mean, I was programmed for draw, and I offered draw. But here I was programmed to, to crush him, and I did it. I was choosing a very sharp line, as I told, just, uh, just to fight with Kasparov. And also, we could remember a not very successful set of games, uh, Spanish opening in Leningrad match. Uh, in 86, when I played also a very sharp line with not f5, but c4. So it, it, it is a choice of black. If they play sharp or they try to, to survive in uh, quite uh, quiet but uh, uh, difficult variations of Russian defense or others, or Karakan or um, other, other possibilities. So you, you think this is a good choice for that day, for this game? Yes, I, I think it was it was correct choice. The position is still known to both players. But Kasparov is the one to find a new idea. Rook 3 knight f6. This is a almost theory too. Yes. And this is a new move, knight h2. An interesting move, you know. I opened this because knight here is not attack and sometimes he can go to g4. And uh, Karpov, he played king h8. Is it a good move? Who knows? It's not a bad move. I mean, he's trying to improve his king. Probably Kasparov didn't analyze this move because he was... he looked surprised. 